ready for you. So, Ben, why don't you start by telling me what brought you here? My mother. Your mother drove you here? No. What, what are you asking me? I'm asking why you think you're here. Why do you think you need therapy? Why am I here, or why do I think I need therapy? Those are two very different questions. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm here because my dad died. And my mother, for whatever reason, thinks I'm not handling it well, so she sent me here. But as for why I think I need therapy, With all due respect, I don't think a therapist is exactly what I need right now. What do you think you need? Batman? Sherlock Holmes? I need some fucking answers, is what I need. Lisa. What's up? What are you doing? Just looking for something. What? I was talking to mom and she said that she gave you like a, a box with a bunch of family stuff in it a week ago. I just want to see it. Mom said that? She did. Yeah. She said that I have it right now? Ben, I have no idea what she's talking about. I mean, there was a box, but I gave it back to her after dad. I haven't seen it since. What was in it? Just, just photos, family photos. Sorry to intrude. So what do you think's inside that box? I have no idea. And your sister is how old? She's 22. Four years older than me. So my dad traveled a lot for work. He was some kind of bullshit business salesman and he was on the road a lot. And every time he'd have to leave, it was kind of the same thing. We'd do something fun the night before he left 
And then in the morning, he'd cook my sister and I breakfast. We'd chat a bit, he'd pack up his shit, and then we'd say goodbye. You know, it wasn't much, but at a certain point, it became a little routine. He died while he was on one of his trips. I don't know. Just the more I look back on it, the more I realize how odd the week or so before he left was. How so? It was just fucking weird, man. I mean, my dad looked at me like he was watching me go off to college or, or the prom or something every time I saw him, which wasn't much. And every time I did see him, my mother was there, without fail. Like, like she was protecting me from him or something. And they were like viciously fighting the whole week before he left, so it was a little weird that they were constantly together. We didn't do our fun thing. He didn't cook us breakfast. And right as he was leaving, I watched him give my sister that box. And that was the last time I saw him. So why don't you tell me about the rest of your family? I mean, outside of your parents. I don't know, man. There's honestly not much. Grandparents? Cousins? No one? I mean, my mom's whole family lives in Wyoming, so I rarely see them. And my dad's family is basically all gone at this point in one way or another. What do you mean by that? Well, like, I've never even met my grandparents. From what I've been told, my grandpa died when I was a baby. And my grandmother supposedly ran out on the family about 15 years before that. I have three uncles, my dad's older brothers, who I haven't seen since I was like eight. I, Wait, I don't know. why? Why haven't I seen them? What happened? Do you want the long story short or the full version? How about we split the difference? Well, from what I've been told, basically in the early 2000s, my dad and his brothers were realtors together. And then in 2007, when the market crashed, my mom and dad lost everything. Well, my uncles were able to make it out perfectly fine. Not just fine, but well enough to pack up and move to the West Coast, which is where they are now. And like, I don't even know all the details, but apparently there was some sort of deal that saved their asses that they could have involved my dad in, but didn't. So now we don't talk to them. That's all you know? Pretty much. 
So that probably wasn't splitting the difference. And you never cared to know more? Of course I have. What you gotta understand is that it's like pulling teeth to get any real answers out of anyone. At a certain point, I just stopped trying. You never had any wives, any kids? No. None of them were married. Which always seemed a little odd to me, because they're all in their, like, late 30s at the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think that this whole thing is kind of embedded in an inherent sense of mistrust in your family? Do you think that if this whole thing had never gone down like this, that you would have a completely different attitude towards your father? Maybe. But sometimes they don't feel that different to me. Because I'll tell you what, there was something within that feeling I had when my dad died that was all too familiar. Like, I, I can't even be sad because I don't know what the fuck is going on. And, like, logically, it's never made any sense to me. How can we just cut them off like that? Like it was nothing. I mean, what you've got to understand is that my dad and his brothers were as close as it gets. Best friends. Side by side for almost 40 years of life. And then one day they're just dead to each other? Okay. All right, we're gonna take it um, from start to the beginning and uh, we're gonna go chronologically. Whose gravestones are these? Uh, I, I... Lisa, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a photo of Dad sitting at three graves pretty elaborately grouped together in a box that I saw him give you right before he died and that you lied to my fucking face about. Whose fucking gravestones are... Don't fucking walk away from me. We were just trying to protect you. What, 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 do, you, what do you mean by that? What's going on? You've been... What, what? What? What are you trying to protect me from? Ben, they didn't move away. What? Lisa. What are you saying right now? Are you telling me what... Are you telling me our fucking uncles are dead? What really happened to Dad? Can I can I make a deal with you? Um, can I just can I just make a really quick phone call? Please, it'll it'll just take a minute, and I'll explain everything. Just just give me a minute.
There's no old people in those photos. Like 27 photos and not a single one of them looks over 40. Lisa. This was in the box, too. To my son, let me start by apologizing for the pain and confusion I'm sure I've caused you. Hurting you is the last thing I'd ever want to do, and I wish that I could have explained everything to you a long time ago, but that wasn't my choice. Here's what you need to know. You are part of a genetic line that is cursed to not live a full life. As I am writing this, I am 40, the longest someone with our genetic code has lived. We've been to countless doctors, scholars, psychics, you name it. There's simply no explanation for it. Don't try to fight it. When this letter finally reaches you, there are a few things I want you to understand. The first is that your uncles were great men. They, knowing their inevitable time was coming, helped us create a story about them in order to protect you and your sister. They also did something that your grandfather and I weren't strong enough to do not have children with the women they loved. And that's the second thing you need to know. Your mother had no idea about this when we had you. And that is a guilt I've had to live with for longer than I'd wish on anyone. She and I have fought endlessly about when to tell you. And in the end, I respected her decision to wait. The last thing you should know about this is that around a week before your time is up, you're gonna start to feel things. You'll start to feel a sense of gratitude, of joy, an unexplainable feeling that will let you know very unambiguously that the clock is ticking. In my last week, your mother was so afraid that I would tell you that she wouldn't even let me near you without her there. I never really got to say goodbye, and for that I apologize. With all that being said, if I can leave you with one thing, please let it be this. Do not think of this as a curse. Think of it as a blessing. I know your initial reaction is gonna to be to think of this as something horrible, but it's not. You've been given a gift, the gift of knowing how much time you have to do what you wanna do. Please let this do nothing but shift your perspective in the greatest possible way. I love you forever. <laughs>